shake it off, and suck it up. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity crybabies. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry! My <laughs> For this list, we're focusing on celebrities who appear to consistently bawl their eyes out in public, whether it be out of genuine emotion or simply for the cameras. Who really knows with celebrities, right? No, I don't want to cry. You already are. Number 10, Paris Hilton. I was born here, yeah. Yeah, good for you. Uh, how'd you like being in jail? Uh as a beautiful heiress living in the 21st century, one can't blame Paris Hilton for taking advantage of the New York City and Hollywood nightlife scenes. But unfortunately, easy fame came during the age of TMZ. Sex tape, jail, reality TV, Paris sought the limelight only to realize that it's not all fun and games, especially when everyone's seen your bedroom techniques. People assume, oh, she's a slut just because of one thing that happened to me, and it's... It's hard because I'll never, I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. It never stops with this girl. And just when Paris Hilton seemed to gain sympathy for that awful plane crash prank, we found out that she was in on it all along. Prank show. You're good, you're good. Everything is good, I swear. Number nine, Heidi Montag. You and me are one in the same. It's the one thing that they can't change. Whoa. It's never a pleasant experience to see anyone cry real tears of pain, but it's always a fascinating experience to witness a prolonged celebrity cry talk. Well, now I really don't want to stay because these people are so mean. Heidi Montag became a reality darling as a cast member of The Hills. Here's the thing, you don't know me. Spencer didn't change me, I changed myself. And here's a surprise, young Hollywood women have been known to partake in the occasional catfight, which almost always result in a lot of tears. What did you do? What did you do? You started a sick little rumor about me. I didn't start any rumor Really? You. Nothing? Nothing? No. You're a sad oh. We've seen Heidi Montag cry for a variety of reasons, but it's mostly because she couldn't handle the backlash of easy fame and fast cash. Oh my gosh, those are such big implants. What a nightmare. Number eight, Lindsay Lohan. Um, and I respect her work. I've been taking it seriously. By now, we're all too familiar with the Lindsay Lohan Trainwreck Express, a roller coaster that ran 24-7 during the mid to late 2000s. DUI case consecutive, that's 90 days in jail. While tears were known to occasionally stream down her face in public during this time, depending on the predicament she was in, you damn well knew she was gonna cry when Big Mama Oprah came knocking. We're really pleased that uh, she's making some progress. Oprah, I've spent 30 years trying to pull my life together. Where the hell have you been? <laughs> You can shed crocodile tears in court, and you can cry on late night TV to gain a little cred with the public. But Lindsay gave us the real deal when Oprah laid down the law. And it was emotional. And have you been sober since yes, we last met? Yes, I have. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Let's celebrate that. That's where you are right now. Look at how great that is. Number seven, Glenn Beck. Pray for you to be strong enough to stand. Just go home with honor. Just go home with honor. Patriotism. It's an ideal that people from all over the world can identify with in one way or another. But nobody cares more about the concept than Glenn Beck, who just happens to be an American conservative. I still believe that when people see what's going on, their hearts will be softened and they will change themselves. Hey, it's all right that a man who makes his living by catering to the public tends to get all blubbery here and there. But for crying out loud, man, just scale it back because there's no other political commentator that sobs nearly as much. I am not a journalist. I'm just a guy who cares. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just a guy who cares an awful lot about my country. This guy really likes to fearmonger his demographic, which can work beautifully when you throw in a good cry to further tug at the heartstrings of unassuming viewers. You ever see this guy, Glenn Beck? You ever see Glenn Beck? Yeah, I cried when I was one years old. I was a baby. Number six. Paula Abdul. I don't know, he brought me to tears. I don't know what to say. He just in. <laughs> Have you ever been moved by the power of song? If so, welcome to the life of Paula Abdul, a TV judge who battles year after year against her own tear ducts. I'm sorry, Simon. I'm sorry. I cannot. I'm not going to do this. Paula, I know it's tough, but I, I can't need... do this. To I'm too close to both acts, and I love them both. 
Very much. Sometimes we can see it coming, but every once in a while, Paula surprises us with a random sob fest, which surely comes in handy for network executives during post-production. You're just feeling so much joy, and it's exciting. I feel I'm one big goosebump. Paula cares deeply about the act of random strangers singing mediocre songs of passion. And hey, it's not easy to hold back tears when you've had a couple of adult beverages. We're just saying. Any publicity is good publicity. You gotta learn to eat it up and, and, and embrace it. Number five, Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. I played with your heart. Got lost in the game. When you're an internationally renowned superstar, it's only natural to whine about the daily grind of paparazzi in public scrutiny. But here's a piece of advice for those of you aspiring to the same level of fame. Keep the crying indoors. Why are you crying, Brittany? I'm sitting so much and having a nice time with my dog. The media loves celebrity tears, especially when Hollywood stars melt down in public settings. Ew, I'm embarrassed. Can we? Of course, TV hosts have been known to instigate a good celebrity cry, and nothing makes for a better interview than a little discourse on one's personal life, complete with some poignant bawling. Number four, Kim Kardashian. Take a deep breath, Kim. No, You're I don't want to do it. So You've done it a hundred times. Do it. No, no, no. Let yes. him go. Believe it or not, Kim Kardashian's reality does not reflect that of anybody else in the known world. Well, at least outside her own family. It's not funny. Get out if you're going to continue to laugh and make fun of me. I'm tired of it. I'm not. You're sitting there She's laughing. Not it's not funny. When you grow up a Kardashian, life can hit you hard, especially when things don't go your way and you realize that perfection can be a difficult concept to achieve. <laughs> Wait, is she faking this or not? No, I'm not faking it. It's not fair to blame the stress on husband Kanye's unrealistic expectations, as Kim had been spilling those tears as long as reality TV cameras have been rolling. You know, you just cannot act that way. Number three, John Boehner. Chasing the American dream. As the former United States Speaker of the House of Representatives, this man left office with a lasting legacy on two important topics, tans and awkward bawling. Sit down and write a note to say thank you for those who got you here. Yes, when you live the American dream after growing up with 11 siblings, you're naturally more inclined to sob than others. It's almost like clockwork with Boehner. America plus important cultural moment equals tears. But in his speech to Congress, he brought a couple of members to tears. Deploy that hanky, Mr. Speaker. The Pope, Kelly Clarkson, it's all in a day's work. <laughs> Number two, Oprah Winfrey. It seems not even Oprah is safe from the ugly cry. This happens when you talk with as many people as she does. And you know what? She's not afraid to confront her resume of public blubbering. Tissue, please. I now need tissue. In the early Oprah days, the concept of television was actually a relatively new thing for some viewers. And when a powerful woman like this breaks down, well, it touches the heart. That is, until it happens over and over and over again. It's okay, though, because even billionaires need to cry it out. Sorry. I get it. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. It's my team. It's my quarterback. And if you guys do that, man, it's unfair. We lost to the team. <laughs> Together. Why am I crying so hard? God, get it together, Justin. Number one, any of the real housewives. Sorry, I was kidding. It was a joke. Lights, camera, action. Time to cry. Sure, there are moments in life that make us weep and feel all those feels, but if you're promoting yourself on a notable reality TV series, one must come to the realization that forced tears are a must. I feel like almost alone, like all my friends are married with little kids. You can't shy away from it. You just have to make it happen. It's just fear that I have to deal with. There's possibly no other place on television to find a remarkable crying face than on the Real Housewives series, as these women are built and groomed to give the people what they want, which includes a hell of a lot of tears. Mommy's gotta pull it together. Do you agree with our list? If they weren't gonna show my ass crack or my nipples, this is full 
support. Who do you think is the biggest celebrity crybaby? It's my Congress, and I'll cry if I want to. For more mind-blowing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh, no, please don't, don't be sad. Are you really sad? No. Are you feeling better now?